Hi, beautiful. Today we're testing drugstore conditioners. Previously, we had tested drugstore shampoos. I found out some really interesting things while trying the shampoos out. It was quite mind blowing and um, intriguing. If you guys wanna see that video of me testing drugstore shampoos, it is linked below. But today is focused on conditioners. We're gonna try and find a conditioner today that is very inexpensive and affordable that maybe I can approve of and be okay with you using. We're not setting the bar too high. It's way down low, but it's gonna be fine. I have four different brands right beside me that Emma snatched up from the local drugstore. How did you find these? Were these recommended by somebody? Oh yeah, these were like the most sought out conditioners. So she did some investigation work with her little fingers and found the top four most commonly bought conditioners to hydrate your hair. Today we'll be testing Dove, Herbal Essence, Tresemme, and OGX. All these conditioners I'll be using today are hydrating. I wanna see what the big difference is beforehand and afterhand on these hair strands I'll be testing it on. So hydrating seemed to be the best and easiest way to figure that out. I'm excited, let's get testing and let's see which conditioner ranks supreme. Let's do it. Okay, up first we have. Oh, <laughs> Here you go. We have Dove. Hmm, can you see it? Ooh, there it is. I saw this packaging in the last video, but it is 100% recycled and we kind of love that. However, it's definitely not the cutest thing in the world. If you're going for like, oh my God, I want to have like a chic conditioner. This ain't your thing. I do like the snap cap, really cute. This is cruelty free, which we love and support and we fully, fully want that in every product, please. This is 12 fluid ounces, which is pretty much average. That's a good amount of product. I appreciate that. This product retails for $5.29. Very affordable in my opinion. Dove Conditioner with BioNourish contains a blend of hair strengthening nutrients and a unique blend of micronourishing complex that instantly smooths even the most damaged hair. Ooh, ah, is that true? I wonder what they put in here to make that happen. So the ingredient list says water. Some of us know that one. You know that one? You know that one? Well, you don't really drink any water, so you probably, yeah, you probably I, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we also uh, have here satiric alcohol, which is totally normal. We have this long one that says steramidopropyl dimethylanine, which from our quick research, just a additive that makes water and oil go together and is also good for your hair and protects it. Fragrance, very high on the list, which we found last time too with the shampoo. And it really makes the scent last on your hair. So if you like a lasting, really, really strong scent, this is your girl. So I also see lactic acid on here, which is weird because I know that's inside your body, but I've never seen it in a conditioner. Um, it apparently uh, maintains the pH level of your hair, which I do appreciate that. Uh, other than that, we have coconut oil, which you guys know what coconut oil is. I don't really love coconut oil, but at least we have an oil in here. We also have arginine in here, which is an amino acid, and that is found in keratin, so that's great too. Not the worst ingredient list. I'm actually a little intrigued. Okay, now for the smell test. It's very overpowering and it smells like candy, like sour candy, which I love. I would eat this for sure. I just wouldn't want that lingering scent on my hair. Maybe that's just me, I don't know. Okay, let's touch it now. Listen, it definitely feels very slippery and smooth and my finger feels hydrated. It's not sticky, it feels nice, it's very slippery, it feels very moisturizing and the scent is obviously very overpowering, like I said a hundred times. Okay, let's test this out. So just to let you guys know to make this hair really, really dry and crispy. That way we can see how effective this moisturizing conditioner is. We wash this twice with Dawn dish soap. So it is feeling really dry and nasty. So we're gonna dip this in the water and we'll get a little dollop and we will comb this through the hair with our hands. The scent is, is in my face, it is there. I mean, Dove. Guys, it feels soft, it feels nice. So let's just do that. I'll do a little dunkaroo and get that off of there. It feels slippery and nice. Um, Can't tell much yet, but let's move on to the next product. Up next we have, whoa, where did that come from? Herbal Essence. I like the presentation only because the 
inner stuff in here is blue and I love a colored conditioner. I just think it adds the experience and it's really fun. Other than that, it's a pretty basic bottle, but it is a custom bottle and they have a little herbal essence on the top of this and I like a custom moment. Um, this is Hello Hydration Conditioner, 0% parabens, mineral oil. This says revel in lush aromas. This bottle is recycled, also dope. It's cruelty free, dermatologist tested, love it. Made with zero waste. I mean, it's pretty impressive. This is 11.7 fluid ounces and this retails for six dollars and 29 cents all right the ingredient list is very short i did notice that uh it says water cool again awesome behentronomium chloride which is a pretty common ingredient that we use in some of our conditioners and it is an anti-static ingredient totally okay with that obviously it's alcohol normal we have coconut oil which i keep repeating this but i'm not the biggest fan of you know if you are go with it there's also corn extract in here and we've been researching it and we can't find out what the hell it is or why it's in here, honestly. We found something about bedwetting. If you have a bedwetting issue, maybe this is the conditioner for you. We have some flower extracts. We have some fragrance parfum and some dye. Totally normal. Let's smell it. This one definitely smells like coconut. It is much better than the previous one, the Dove one. It's a lot less scent and the perfume is actually really low on the list. Herbal essence has really been like doing something for me lately. It's kind of weird. Let's give it a feel. Ooh, it is really blue. It's funny because on your fingers, you can actually feel it like filling in the dryness and it makes it really slippery and soft on your fingers. I actually do like this and it's not sticky and it's not too thick. I enjoy it. Now let's give this a test on a hair strand. Do a little dunkaroo, a little dollop. Ooh, it feels nice. Very detangling. This it smells stronger on the hair than in the bottle. It also makes my hands a little tingly. My hands are gonna be so moisturized after this. I'm gonna let this dry and let's move on to the next conditioner. Up next we have Tresemme. Isn't there like thing, Tresemme, Tresemme, ooh la la. The bottle to me is heinous. Why is it a triangle? I just hate that the cap isn't the same color as the front of the bottle. It's like gold and then bronze. Anyways, presentation really lacks for me. Tresemme used by professionals. Where? This says ultimate hydration with moisture complex. Uh, it's a system for long lasting hydration. It is a recycled plastic. It is not cruelty free that I see here, which is really sad. Give your hair the hydration it needs to restore life back to your locks. Our moisture complex with ceramides infuses each strand with an intense boost of deep hydration, locking it in to leave your hair feeling soft and smooth after each use. Ceramides are really cute, really trendy, really nice, and a great thing to add to your conditioner. This is 22 fluid ounces and it retails for $6.79. That is a lot of product for a little amount of money. Wow. To make something that cheap and have that much in a bottle, you must be cutting some corners. I mean, they just have to, or you're making a cent per product. I don't know what they're doing, but they're probably just selling a lot of them and making a very low commission on them. I may never know. Looking at the ingredient list here, it says water. We have some satira alcohol. We have ceramides in here, which is great for moisture retention to help fix damaged hair. We can find that in skincare also. I see lysine on here, which helps collagen produce Reduction. Ooh, kind of cute ingredients. And again, we have arginine and lactic acid. I do like these ingredients. It seems to be a little bit more elaborate than a previous two conditioners we just reviewed. It's like enough ingredients. It's not too much. Time for the smell test. Actually, this is like the most intense part of all because they never smell good. So let's see what happens here. Mm, okay, definitely better than the Dove one. I don't hate this. It still smells like sour candy, but it's like a little bit less sour than the Dove one. It's not the worst. It smells very clean, but definitely like overpowering clean. Also the fragrance, it's in the middle of the list. Pretty average place to put it. Not too much, not too little. Now let's put it on my fingertip and let's test it out. This one feels a little more runny than the other two. This is a little thinner, but still pretty much feels the same. Let's give this a shot on a hair strand and let's see what happens. All right, let's do a little Dunkaroo. Let's do a little dollop. The scent is strong, but nice. It's not the worst scent. It feels quite like the other ones. <laughs> Let's do a little dunker to get this off. Ooh, I mean, this one feels extra slippery. All right, we'll dry that up and let's move on to the next conditioner. All right, up next we have OGX. 
which actually stands for organics, believe it or not. Some people don't know that, some people do, some people are shocked by that. I was one of those people who were shocked by that, I had no idea. We have coconut milk conditioner, Ugh, like the coconut thing, it's really a lot. People get so obsessed with a particular product every year and it's funny to me because people don't even know if it's actually good for them, they just use it because everybody else is using it. Coconut oil is one of those things that I really don't love at all. I actually hate coconut oil personally, but you do your own research on that. The bottle is actually really cute, I do like it. I I think it's a little more trendy and new. I like that the cap matches the front of the bottle. I like that they put the main ingredients on the front and try to get you to understand the product better. I like the roundness of it. It seems very easy to squish, so cool. And I like the little flip cap. This says sulfate free, not test on animals. Love, love, love. And it's all about recycling. We love that too. It says why you want it. It's like a trip to the tropics in a bottle. I love that. This is some ex mondo shit. The oh luxury God, creamy <laughs> hydrating blend <laughs> helps leave your hair feeling moisturized, glowing, and super soft. This is 13 fluid ounces and it retails for $9.29. By far the most expensive one today. And the cheapest one was Dove, so let's keep that in mind. That one was $5.29 and this is $9.29. So it's a pretty big jump, so let's see if it's worth it. The ingredient list says water. Love they that. love the water, huh? It's like we don't have showers these days or like there's no such thing as water to water. wash your hair out. Water, Emma. Oh, first ingredient is water also. Cassie, it was a joke. Oh. <laughs> we have glycerin, very high up on the list, which attracts moisture. We have coconut oil, which we just went over a million times. We have more coconut, and it looks like coconut milk or some shit. We have safflower seed oil. We have panthenol, which is pro vitamin B5. Great, great for your hair, which helps protect against damage. And we have ovum on here, which is egg powder, making this product not vegan. Um, all right, well, the ingredient list actually has some really great things and a lot of additives that don't need to be there but are because it makes it a little more luxurious. And that is what you get for the price, is a little more zinger in the ingredient list. You know what I mean, guys? Let's do a quick smell test. I think this is gonna smell heavy of coconut. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it says literally coconut milk on it. It just smells like coconut. I don't like the smell of coconut that much, but it's not oh, bad. Oh, this smells, no, this smells like like I literally just got off the beach in Tahiti, like mm -hmm. I'm going into my suite, literally like gonna shower after like a little bit of a sunburn. Okay. And then, <laughs> do you want to taste it at all? <laughs> Let's put this on my finger. I mean, they all feel really similar. This feels exactly the same. It's a little more gooey than the other ones. I don't know, it's hydrating, it feels fine. Let's test it on the real hair strands now. We got our dry hair strand, let's give it a dunk. Let's do a little dollop on the hand, and the good old hands, <laughs> love these things. And the coconut smell is very overpowering and strong. I mean, like, it is definitely there. It feels like it's detangling quite nicely, though. I can really run my hands through it. Love that. It's cute. It feels like the other ones. <laughs> Let's rinse that off. It, wow, this feels actually a lot of it better than the other ones. This feels very slippery. I'm gonna go ahead and dry all the hair strands, and then I'll be back to figure out which one feels the softest and works the best. Great. All right, now it's time for the touch test. Now we have our constant here, which is the one that has not been conditioned, so we're gonna compare every other hair strand to this one. The first specimen, please. We have Dove, okay. It looks a bit smoother. It feels just slightly smoother, nothing too silky soft. Not very impressed. This is Herbal Essence. I'm rooting for Herbal Essence just because last time it went well. Let's see here. This one is definitely noticeably smoother than the Dove one. It feels very much detangled. It looks a bit shinier, just slightly. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the ends seem a little less frayed and broken. This one feels pretty good. I like this. All right, now we have Tresemme, and Tresemme feels good too. Definitely feels smoother than the one that has not been conditioned, which I would hope so, but it feels a noticeable amount softer, and it looks very shiny, and the little flyaways seem to be tamed a lot better. I think that Herbal Essence was definitely softer though. Oh, it's called OGX. OGX. Last <laughs> coconut. <laughs> you whisper coconut milk. <laughs> no, I was like, like as if that's the f name you wrote all. <laughs> she wrote coconut milk. 
This one is noticeably softer than the others, like very much so. It is silky smooth. The smell, it smells like coconut. It's very strong. It looks very healthy and glowy and shiny. This one to me stands out by far. I really like this. This is before. This is after. All right, now that I've felt all the conditioners and seen what they can do, it is time for my final thoughts. From least favorite to most favorite in order. In fourth place, we have Dove. Guys, step it up. The ingredient list, not the worst, not the best, kind of blah. Didn't make the hair that soft and I hate the scent. In third place, we have Tresemme. This is very large and it's very inexpensive. This is $6.79 for 22 ounces. Like I said before, I mean, that's really, really great and very affordable. Other than that, um, the ingredient list was like decent. I hate the bottle and the scent was it's pretty bad. And it also made the hair like soft, but not the softest. I could do without this for sure. In second place, Herbal Essence. Still not mad at this one. And honestly, for the price, it could easily come in first. It is 11 ounces and it's only $6.29. Cheap and the ingredient list was decent. It made the hair quite soft. I did like the scent. I like the bottle and I like the presentation. Not bad at all. And in first place, you guys already know, it's OGX. This one was great. I don't like coconut, but if you do like coconut and you want an OGX product, this is quite nice. This does have egg whites in it, so it's not vegan, which was the saddest part for me. It's a pretty decent product and it is quite inexpensive at $9 and what cents? 29. 29 cents. And it is 13 ounces, which is not too small either. After using this on the hair strand, it was significantly softer. This is our winner for today. Congratulations. Woo! Okay, well, again, very surprised. My findings today were much better than the shampoo one, in my opinion. They're not the worst, not the best, definitely not salon professional quality, but doable. And if you're balling on a budget, go for it, try some of these products, see what you like. OGX was my favorite, and if you're in the drugstore, maybe pick it up, maybe try it. That's all for today, guys. Make sure you subscribe right down below and click the bell icon and the like button. That'd be super cool for me. Make sure you guys text me at this number right here. It is is really my number. I can really text you back. And I'll be choosing a few of you to do just that. So get on it. Make sure you guys check out my hair care brand, Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com. It is linked below and also at Xmondo Hair on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. These are all my handles all around me right now. Ooh, follow me. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Brittany and she says she's been growing her hair out for the last three years from a pixie cut. Damn. Okay. Wow. I mean, your hair's gotten really long. Uh, she feels like she's doing a disservice by not wearing her hair down. Down. She always has it up in a bun. She's like, I'm not letting my curls go wild. Should I cut it? Should I try harder to wear it down? I need help. <laughs> Brittany, wear it down. It looks dope. You look amazing. If you use the right products, it'll make it even better than it already is. Use Wave Tech. It is amazing for curly hair. It is my product. It's called Wave Tech Wave Foam, and it'll make your waist perfect, enhanced, and defrizzed. But your hair is beautiful. I don't think you should cut it. I don't think you should do anything besides use maybe better products. I don't know what you use right now, but it looks gorgeous. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.